All right, you guys, what's up? We're back. It's been a couple of days since our last video, but that's just because there wasn't really anything event-wise going on except for the joint exams that should have been repeat battles. There's nothing going on as far as... Uh, there was a couple of showcases, but there wasn't really much to follow up, fo follow up on, I think. There's more or less just the... Um, the showcases and stuff, the joint exams. The shop for the thing is still there, I believe, actually, because it ends in a couple days, so that one might still be there. No, no, yep, no, 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 no. Probably coin, yep. It is going until the 18th, so that's just before midnight. Sunday going into Monday, so that's not too bad. Anyway, let's get into what's really going on today. So, as of today and through to the 21st, so that's a week from Wednesday, more or less. At 10:59 p.m., both the event and the showcase are ending. But what's going on right now is the Culinary Crucible, which is titled Pepper Pandemonium. So, as you guys could more or less tell based off the name, it is based off of. All the dishes involved in the in the event will be based off pepper, who's being the main ingredient. Or chili, whatever it's gonna be called in here. Uh, bell peppers possibly. Uh, let's see what it should, what, it should, what it says and or shows. Pretty chill but for the most part, you mostly just uh, collect ingredients, then you make them and then you uh, you, you're able to take the each recipe usually about eight or so up to about a hundred percent not success rate but like rating so like you know the more you do the better it climbs and stuff like that and then you earn more coins for it the coins you get for the crucible you can use in the shop and then once you get a thousand I do believe at least in pretty sure thousand maybe twelve hundred anyway um, you will use them to get the last part of the story, the first part of the story you just get when you first log into the event. No battles, no twistings, nothing here, basically just, and then, uh, once you have enough keys, you are able to redeem them for the culinary crucible key that they have for each specific time. So you're able to choose one of the two characters. You can get both, but you're only able to get one with the key, the other one you have to summon for in the showcase. So if you do want them, you gotta kind of invest in them but this time around it's Edia and Ace are the chef boys and obviously here more ingredients will be obtained once you get these guys in your thing Edia is using a water and flora attack it's an attack type Ace is balanced and he is using fire and flora not bad Let's check it out. Well, the showcase then goes over the same thing anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. And then the different, the only thing different is that if you get these guys and use them for the ingredient excursions, you get more ingredients. That's pretty much the only difference that makes anything happen when you get those cards. Otherwise, it's not really a whole lot. Kiyokiyumi. <laughs> しかし、その This is just a kind of intro they do for all of them. So they speak with the ghost, they, the, like, so you guys particip participating in it basically, like, kind of break down why they wanted to do it and stuff like that. Hi, to you, Wakede. Master 
本プログラムをおさらいしておきましょう、えー、マスターシェフは食堂でのお手伝いを通して調理技術を今は食堂で美味しい料理を食べている皆さんも料理外食ばかりでは食器がかさみますし好きなものばかり食べてそんなことで心身を崩しては。魔法師として大成するなど夢のまた夢末永く健やかで自立した生活を送るため栄養素や献立についてのナイトレイブンカレッジを新級卒業するには必修科目だけでなくマスターシェフの実食審査で良い結果を出せれば全審査員の胃袋をがっちりつかんで。料理スキルと単位の両方をゲットしてください<笑>ちなみに審査員は我が校の生徒や教師の中からなぜそんなシステムになったかって事前に決定すると審査員に不正な取引を持ちかけて単位を取得しようとする生徒が続出したからですよまったくどうしてそのあるじえばかり働くのかおっと話がそれましたそうそうマスターシェフにはこのプログラムならではの嬉しい特典もあります授業の一環とはいえ食堂のお手伝いつまり労働をしてもらうわけですから皆さんにはアルバイト代が支給されますマスターシェフいやー太っ腹でしょお礼なんて言いさあなた方を実際に指導してくれるシェフゴーストたちを紹介しましょうよろしく。They're apparently like famous singers. I don't understand this, but you know, five star restaurant chefs and life, so you could argue they were maybe famous. いやー前から興味あったんすよ受講してよかったって料理経験は寮でお菓子作りを手伝うくらいあ,あと千切りとみじん切りぐらいは知ってる程度ですよろしくお願いしますえっ、okay. so, yeah, so、そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう They are at different intervals of time. It looks like it's 20, 40, 2 1/2 and 6 hours. So, depending on you know, what you guys do during the day, if you're able to constantly like, be back and forth on and off enough to do the shorter、um, excursions, it's fine. Those net obviously less rewards, but they net quicker rewards. So, depending on what you're doing, how you're doing it, you can probably.、Like, Knock it out pretty fast. More often than not, I'll, I personally will go for the long excursions, leave them while I work, while I do stuff during the day, come back to them, and then same. Then sometimes I'll do the, the middle length ones, like the two and a half hour and 40 minute ones. And then overnight, I will, put, I will leave a、um, six hour one going so it's already completed by the time morning comes, you know? There are three levels of the ingredients low, medium, and high. So, obviously, if you're using the, the low quality, the lower quality ingredients, then it'll net a lower score. And then, if you use the higher quality ones, then it'll net higher scores. You can get items or spend gems. You can spend items or gems to increase, not increase, but decrease the time that it would take for any excursion to take. Typically, it's better to use it on. The longer ones, because if you're like a 20 minute one, unless you're like just super rushing at in the last minute and need to get it done, then yeah, but definitely more pay, pays off if you do it for a long one, in my opinion.
different recipes. Basically, once you get through all this, they give you the first, I think it's like one of each ingredient basically, but it's enough for you to properly make the first dish in the recipe list. So we'll get into that one right now. Score, results. And then once you earn enough tokens, you can get the ending sequence here for these guys to talk about their experience in it. So as you can see, there's a bell pepper, tomato, beans, onion, and bacon. And it takes a thousand yes. to get it done. So let's set these guys on a thing. Doesn't really matter who, I guess. And then here we go to so the cooking aspect. The first dish is a bell pepper minestrone. That in the description of the video will be most of these things. Anytime I make these into a list in the description of the videos, unless it's just like a super short one, short name, most of them do get abbreviated so it'll be BPM which in this case will not stand for beats per minute it'll stand for bell pepper minestrone MP would not stand for mounted police it would stand for marinated peppers so on and so forth so let's get it going bell pepper minestrone mm -hmm. bacon and beans Typically shows them like trying the food. Makes sense, it's food. Rugi's probably easy enough to buy, I think. Anyway, not a bad score to start with, seven. So that'll be it, you guys. Culinary Crucible, both the event and the showcase itself. And on the 21st, yep, so two, a week from Wednesday, being that at time of recording, it is the 12th of February. So the 21st of February is when it ends, so nine days out at 10.59 p.m. Pacific time, the Culinary Crucible event and showcase will end. So get on those excursions. Good luck to you guys if you're summoning for the characters in the showcase. Let, uh, feel free to share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment where you can, let us know which of these dishes you probably want to try the most. I'd be kind of curious on the salad pizza just to see what it would have. I'm a sucker for some good spring rolls, so I'll probably those. Um, I'm down for the chicken. Stuffed peppers are good, usually. Eh, those are for sure the ones I would try. Maybe a veggie burger, why not? I don't know what a terrine is. Vegetable mousse cake. I'm not really a fan of carrot cake, so I personally probably wouldn't try it, but... Anyway, those are all the dishes and ingredients so far, you guys, so thank you for joining. Feel free to ask it earlier as it helps out and everything. Um, Drop a comment where you can, like the videos, share the videos, subscribe to the channels. All that good shit truly helps out and it's appreciated. So that'll be it for now. So signing off. See you guys next time. Peace.